you must be. Hi friends, how are you? Good afternoon, it's Lisa Lindsay here at DIY Living, and I'm at the Dollar Tree today. We had to stop off and um, not only let you guys see the cool stuff that's coming out, but also some things that we're gonna need for our trip. Look at my son, he's squinching his eyes with the sun's coming, glaring in. So y'all say hello to Clay. Say hi, bud. Hi. Isn't he growing? Look how short I am to him. I'm like, seriously, he used to be under here a couple of years ago. And this kid is taller than his dad and I. Crazy. Anyhow, let's get to this and y'all say hello. All right, friends. So what's come out new this week at our Dollar Tree? These adorable little glasses. Um, they have paw prints on them, but they're really, really cute. Pastel colors. They have lots of eggs that has arrived in so many different styles. So if you need to get those to make those basket fillers, look how stinking cute those are. They're really adorable. Isn't he so big now? Oh, I needed to get these for a DIY, but they're so stinking cute. I love these eggs, but I'm so glad I saw them because I wanted to do a DIY with them. Oh, look y'all, they even have the little chickies. Those are so cute. Adorable. Oh, they have trucks. They have trucks, y'all. How cute is that? Go sprinkle some love for TLC this week. They have the Legos. They have the cute baskets that we all used to have as a kid. And I love the color of grass that they have, starting with that aqua color. Of course, the traditional green, but I love the one that has all the different colors. <clears throat> and I love that color green. And the white one is really, really pretty. Let's see, all of their trimmings and that is going really quick at this location. But they have some cute signs that are really adorable. Hello, Marcy, how are you ladies today? This one as well. And I was hoping to find, there was a window clean last year that had the most adorable, beautiful little bunny that had a little halo. She looked a little bit shabby, chic, kind of boho. If you guys know what I'm talking about. And I really would love to get her again this year. I would love to do a DIY with her, but I don't see one. These are cute, but they're not shabby, chic, but they are precious. They're all cute. Some cute little signs. Hello, sweet friends. If y'all are not on the email list and you want to find out what's coming out shabby chic that's going to be exclusive to DIY Living Bites, Lisa Lindsay, go get yourself on the um, email list for all the things so you guys don't miss out. I love this little garden flag. Look, black and white. And they've come out with some more of the little garden accessories, little kits. I'm going to check out and see what they have for floral this week. They're putting out some trucks right now. So in the next, I don't know, maybe today or by tomorrow. I love these baskets. They'll have a lot more stuff that's going to be available. Oh, they did. Look at this. They're bringing out all the Americana stuff. So look, here's some trucks. They have the stars. I'm, ex I'm just like crazy overseeing all that stuff. They have the little tractors. That is cute. That would be cute to be shabby chic, something we can do with. Here's the red trucks, and then they have those little punch buggy guys. Those are cute too. Aren't they adorable? I love the little wind spin twisty things too, the wind chimes, if that's what you want to call them. I know I'm going to have to check out. Oh, they did get some new florals. These right here. Y'all don't over, don't bypass Dollar Tree's floral anymore. They're starting to come out with much better selection that is much bigger and so much prettier. Look at the lemons. Do y'all see these, lim uh, not lemons, I'm sorry, limes. Those are pretty. Looks like they would mix, oh, that would look, those limes with those yellow roses. Yes, those are pretty together. And then the big ones over here. I'm gonna check and see if they have anything. We're gonna go over into their crafting section in just a second. But I'm just going to check out. Oh, here's the new lace. And I knew it was going to go quick. It's the thicker lace. I love that stuff. It's really pretty. More of the garden stuff coming out. So be on the lookout for that. And then look at all the new greenery they're coming out with, y'all. In the new farmhouse line. 
Which style do you like best? One, two, three, or four? Tell me on comments. So that way on replay too, I can check and see what I'm gonna put in the TLC. I kind of seriously like this one, but some of you might like the fern. That's what I think that's called. And the ivory, I mean, isn't it more, I'm like amazing? And then of course this is really pretty too. It's kind of like a lighter color. I'll have to, have to decide. Um, let's see, they got a lot of their different wreaths. I love the square wreaths. They got those back in stock. They have lots of this moss, which wouldn't look too bad for a bedding for you guys to put eggs on. And they have lots of eggs up front. And remember last week I showed you, if you find the awareness that you guys can convert that into a bunny, because the egg, I meant the ears on the top, or you can cut that off and just use the bottom portion as an egg too. So don't forget that because I have lots of them at this location. And you probably could do the same. Yeah, you could do the same thing with this one too. And this is leftover from Valentine's Day. Just use the bottom portion. So, or cover, oops, cover the whole thing in fabric or ribbon, and then you could still probably use it for a bunny. All right, I'll put that back up there where it belongs. You like one? Now this is some new moss that they're bringing out that I like a lot. They have the wood roses that are pretty. Really like those. Those are very shabby chic. Oh. And then they have everything to make a cute little fairy garden. If you guys like those, look, it's a cute little beehive. Oh, stop the front door. That is too cute. And then these have little words on them. They have it where if you want to do a little ice cream, look, this little ice cream theme is the sweetest. Now I love these little bird baths. Those are adorable. Here's some more little like candies. They're really, really cute. Cute little tractors. Oh, look at this pretty ribbon. That is some divine looking ribbon right there. I love the orange burlap. They have the pink burlap. Those are cute little carrots. And then also this little blue. So they've gotten, oh, it's this got trucks all over it. Oh, we'll put this in this week's TLC. You guys probably would love the trucks and the carrots, wouldn't you? Actually, all three of these, look. This one, this one with the trucks and the carrots would all look really good together, all three of those. And then these three would even look good together. This one, the pink, and that one. Oh, lots of good stuff. Uh, they just brought some of those cute little bunnies out. I haven't seen them. Along with those little eggs, I have not seen yet. And it looks like they're restocking some stuff with their ribbons cute bunnies. I need to get some more of these eggs because I'm going to be using them for decoupaging and I can't find them anywhere else. So I have some beautiful print that I want to use it for. I'm checking to see, I'm going to check up here and see if they have any of those lights, the peep lights. Mm, no, they don't. I know that rot, that ribbon is awesome. They even have some. And then they have all these lights, guys, too. Those are pretty. Some more little ribbon. Man, they got tons of eggs in. Oh, now here's some ribbon to check out. <gasps> oh, but it looks like they replenished all their wood stuff. I'll have to look at that, too. The bunny butt. That one I absolutely love, the bunny butt. It's too cute. Thank you, Kathy. I appreciate that. Look, this one with the little Easter bunny with a halo on her head. That one's really precious. That's pretty. I would do that probably with the pink and the yellow or the pink and the purple. <clears throat> but I love how they're different, vary of sizes. So you can layer over each one of them on top of each other if you choose to. <gasps> I found the cutest little eggs that look like mermaid scales or fish scales. Look at those. Do you see it? Those are so cute. 
Those are adorable. And so is this ribbon. The little carrots, the little peeps, their feet, and look at the eggs. And of course, those little buffalo check colors. The pillow covers. I'm gonna see if I can find any of those. I'm gonna see if we can find them. Um, they have some ornaments that has come back in. I'll be checking those out. And then these are also new. Look, they're a little like pearl descent look kind of to them. And here's the ones I just spotted. Those are adorable. <gasps> and they have the minis, y'all. Look at the cute minis. Isn't that the most adorable little chickies? They have some other cute little bunnies. Those are just about gone. Those are sweet. I actually love this guy. I need to make a DIY with him. Seriously, he's so cute. All right, look how much eggs they have. They have lots of eggs. Let's see if they what they put out here. The miniature wooden eggs are down here. I'm definitely going to have to do a cross. Just not sure how I want to do it. Definitely shabby chic, something with lace in it neutral colors, and then they have this gorgeous carrot, which is really cute. Oh, they have um, a little bit of the bee stuff left, but let's check out. There you go. Oh my word, y'all. Check out these adorable little chickies. Do y'all see them? Look at the chickies. Those are cute. Okay, and here's some more of those iridescent. <gasps> Shut the front door. These are even cuter. Look at these little ornaments. These are cute little ornaments. Check out these cute little ornaments. Those are gnome bunnies, eggs, and little chickens. Oh, and then look at the pastel eggs. All right, I have to stop, stop it. I have to go get a little basket for these. Look at these, those are so adorable. All right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put my stuff right here on the floor. You guys are gonna come with me while I grab a basket because I wasn't sure if I was gonna find anything I like. And I'm gonna put my little pile right here of my stuff that we're gonna give for TLC this week. Those are cute. Those are cute. And those are cute. And then, so are these little eggs. Those are precious. We're gonna have to get a couple of those too. And let's not forget, oh look, these are to stick on your tree. So let's grab those as well and put on there. Reminds you of the rooster that Patrick had, it does, doesn't it? All right, let me go grab a basket. Let's get one. Oh, that's okay. Excuse me. I'll just take the basket that she just left. It says, too cute to leave at the store. I know, guys. I just left myself a little pile right here. <laughs> there we go. I don't always grab stuff whenever I come in, but if it's brand new and you guys haven't seen it, then sometimes I will grab it for TLC. And then look at the garland that's out too that you can put on your trees. I love the one with the rainbow colors to it. I'm gonna knock everything down. What's new? Oh, it's stuck together, no wonder. Here we go. That one's so cute. But I'm still, I'm crushing on this pink plush. That's cute. All right. So you see little eggs. And then look at this chiffon rope that they have. What would you do with that? I love the blue. That blue would be gorgeous at Christmas time to do something like for an icy blue. That's pretty. <clears throat> All right. Let's go, pink or blue. Let's go check over here. Ah, so they did restock their stuff here. The cute little carrots. 
And then here's some more of that other little ribbon that they have going on. The carrots here. <clears throat> Look at this. They're completely getting ready for Florida. Lots of shells. They just put those out. Lots of shells. <clears throat> and then more farmhouse. So you guys, here's some piggies. Some cute little roosters. Those are something they're going to keep on a regular basis. For all of you that like the bees. <clears throat> I feel like I got a throg in my throat. Here's an organizer, and then here's some more of the pretty farmhouse items that they will be carrying. I know, aren't they awesome? They are really awesome finds, but let's go check out what they have in the crafting section. Let's see if there's anything new. The stickers there. These are great for rub-ons, especially something shabby chic kind of vintage. Pretty, 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 pretty. And so are these. That's also really pretty. Okay, let's move out of the way. Let's see if they have anything new with wood. I don't see anything here checking up here. They have these new cut dies. I've never used those, I'll be honest. Never tried them out. Ah, they have the farmhouse beads, the cute little trucks. They have some easels that are back in. Back at Christmas time, they were using those to cover them for trees. And then they did bring in some more of those vegetables here, y'all. The faux veggies, of course, the lemons are almost gone but they have the cute oranges, the pears. Here's those limes. And I, here's those eggs. I didn't expect those to stay. Didn't expect them to stay because they look so close to real eggs. Lots of wood stuff that has come in. I need to grab some um, cute little birdhouses and start doing some of those as well. Little cubes, the laser words, there's different ones. They have all kind of, oh, here's some farmhouse fabric. There we go. Those are precious. Let's see if they got any new stamps. I'm looking for those bird stamps all the time. You guys are asking for them, so I like to put them in the TLC. And I'm only seeing the summer designs right now. The llamas, I don't see any birds. I wouldn't expect to either, I guess. Oh, y'all, these would look cute to cover in Easter eggs. Those colors, that would be really pretty if you could find those. Cover yourself some Easter eggs with those. These push pins are really pretty with the pearls on them. And I wanna check out and see what they have for fabric. Oops, I see a new shape that they have brought out that we're gonna look at for a, um, look, I'm gonna have to get some of these. I love to use these for platforms on so many different DIYs I do. So I'm gonna be grabbing those, a few of them anyway. And then I'm also gonna grab this one and this one as well. So I'll be checking those out. Did you get the pack of sequins? What do you plan on doing with them? Oh, oh my goodness, I hit the jackpot. All right, I am going to be getting a lot. They have, look how many boxes. So it's not gonna hurt for me to grab a lot of these for TLC. Y'all better be sprinkling, girls. I'm getting the chickens. I'm definitely getting myself some pigs. Here's some pigs. What else is in here? Do y'all see these? Oh, I have to get that one. There's some more roosters because I just dropped them. He didn't break, but I'm still gonna get him. Oh my goodness. That was a cute find. I'm gonna have to grab some more of those before I head out. And I'm gonna have to get some more of these woods, wood pieces. 
love these wood pieces. This one. Love how farmhouse it is. So cute, y'all. That one too. And that one too. Actually, I like the black better. Like it a lot. <clears throat> All right, and I do need the round sponges. I wanted to get some things I wanted to paint my polka dots with and I couldn't do it. I'm just looking to see if I'm missing anything, my friends. White highlighters, oh, what's this? This is new in here this week. A retractable holder supports, huh, oh, okay. So it holds like your paint sticks your pencils and pens. Oh my word, y'all. They filled up on all of their cardstock stuff. Look at this. That is gorgeous. I've showed you the pineapples before. And look, this pack right here is so stinking shabby chic. Gotta grab that. Here's transfers. And look at all this farmhouse stuff that they have replenished. The houses, more houses, another house, another house. They have the cutest stuff. This is a tiny store, but they have the cutest stuff in here. Oh, and then they have the felt sheets too in different colors too. Perfect for Easter. And then here's some of their signs for farmhouse ladies. Those are cute. We can repaint those though. Because it's just an image that's been put on there. I'm looking to see if there's any yarn that I might want. So I don't see any. I don't see any there. Let's look and see if there's any new fabrics out. Um, there is, but they're more like kitty-ish. Here's some farmhouse and here's some farmhouse. I love fabrics. And then here's some spring. Those are awesome too. You still haven't found those milk signs? They're all over down here in Florida. Here, you guys, make some carrots. They have plenty of orange up here to do that with. Oh, they did get some new fabrics. Let's look at them. Y'all want to look at the fabrics with me? Because you guys know I love fabrics, right? <gasps> okay, we're getting this one. That would be perfect for Easter. There's a red one. That would be pretty for Easter. Little pinstripes. That would be gorgeous to make some cool little carrots with. That one's different. Let's see what else I have down in here. This would be pretty just for farmhouse kind of look. This one too. <gasps> the green yes getting the green here's an orange that would be pretty for a carrot Let's see what else is down here a pinstripe that's pretty for it I see oh y'all they're carrying some farmhouse primitive girlfriend we are taking that home shut the front door did y'all see that <gasps> Look at the polka dots. That one's pretty for carrots. This one's pretty for carrots. Very bright. Oh, what else do they have? That one's a different kind of unique stuck color. Mm, brown. And then that one. That green was pretty. So we did find something new. And here's a pretty green too. That'll make some cool little um, leaves and stuff. Some ideas I have. Glitter, 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 glitter. All right, we're gonna go to one more spot. Oh, those are pom poms for us to check out. I don't see anything there. We're gonna check out their dishes and see what they got come in. Oh. And I need to see if I can grab any more of these tiles, but you guys can paint these. These are just like the silver ones everyone's looking for. It's the same design, except they're in blue and white. So I'm gonna grab a few of these. You can just paint over them, okay? 
That'll go in your TLC this week too. Excuse me. Hi, Bracey. Hi, Amy. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. Amy's putting out trucks. Oh, well, they do have some stuff coming out. Holy cow. I just haven't been able to put it out yet, so I'm going to get myself in a pickle if I get back here and can't get out. So let's see at the mason jars. I might need to wind up getting some mason jars, but I have to actually... Um, measure this box that I bought yesterday to see if it's going to fit. It might be these glasses that I need more. Might need these. And I was going to put a stem of a flower in each one of these. I thought would be really, really pretty. So I'll have to check. I have to go home and measure it before I get them. They have the mini mason jars, y'all, that has the tops to them. Everybody's looking for So, I don't see anything else new. I'm just going to stay out of their way because they have all their boxes. All right, friends. That'll draw this to a conclusion. And I will see you guys a little bit later with a DIY. I'm going to jump. Well, no, I won't because today is my husband's birthday. So, you won't see me this evening because I'm going to spend it for, with him. But you'll see me tomorrow. All right. So, y'all have a great afternoon. Go sprinkle some love. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a DIY. Bye, friends.